and I just whacked my toe on the banister. Oh my gosh, I just whacked the crap out of myself. You what? I hit my toe on the banister. Oh, I gotta go get a band-aid. Now I'm bleeding and I'm gonna get shot if I bleed on the rug. Oh no. Hold on, hang out at the bar for a second. I'll be right back down, all right? Okay. Cool. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming out here, man. Okay, cool. I was having, like, such a crappy night. I'm sorry, like, you got all weirded out when you saw me the first time. Well, it wasn't I got weirded out. I thought I couldn't see a address. I mean, I seen it on the mailbox. Yeah, it's totally, like, weirded out, isn't it? Anyway, sorry. I found the band I'll be right back down. I just have to wipe it off or else I'm going to get an infection. I got... Have you ever got, like, one of those ingrown toenails? Yeah. I got one once, and it hurt so freaking bad. How are you, sir? Okay. Why don't you do me a favor and uh, have a seat on the uh, stool right on the other side of the bar there? Please go ahead and have a seat. Did you get yourself all comfortable? Or? Sure. What's going on? Not much. Why are you here? Came to meet this gentleman. This gentleman? Mm-hmm. And how old is the gentleman you came here to meet? Uh, he told me that he was 15, I believe. 15? <coughs> Do I try again? Uh, that's what I remember. How about 14? Oh. Uh, how old are you? 43. 43. And you came here to meet a teenage boy. Why? Uh, I told him I was coming to meet and talk. Just to meet and talk? Mm hmm. And what was your plan once you got here? Meet and talk? Just that? Yeah. And you thought that was appropriate for you as a grown man of 43 years old to come here to meet a teenage boy who was home alone? Um, I had my reservations. Your reservations? But he asked me to. So that made it okay? I didn't see any harm in just chatting with him, no. Just chatting? Mm-hmm. Now, do you have nieces and nephews? Oh, yeah. All the way up to 22 or 23. Actually, I think Dustin may be 24. Yeah. Now, would you be comfortable if a grown man came into a home where one of your nephews was alone? Would that be okay with you? Well, I guess it would depend on what their intentions were. See, now you're telling me your intentions were one thing. But based upon the internet conversation you had with the boy. Your intentions seem like something very different. Um, I think the last conversation that I had with Rocky was that I was coming to meet and chat. He led some other, or was, I don't want to say he led, but he kind of gave that it may be more, and I said no. You know, I says, well, I'm coming to talk and chat, to meet you and chat. Do you do this often? Um, as far as with younger kids? Yeah. Um, I would say that, of course, I thought he was 15, but I would say that... Well, 15, 14, I mean, what's right. the difference? Well, right I here? agree. He says right here, hello, hi. 14 male, 14 years old, yeah. Oh my, what are you doing in here? How are you? I like talking to other gay people, doing well, thanks. So he says it's 14 right there. That may have been later in the week or something like that, I don't know. The, thir the 19th of March, 11.35 p.m. I mean, that's the chat log, so 14. Well, he knew I was very concerned about chatting with him and even meeting up with him. But despite your concern, you showed up anyway. 
Well, I think because of the way that he was telling me that his parents were gone to Vegas and he was alone and stuff like that. Um, so you were just coming over here to babysit him, to keep an eye on no, him? No, I didn't think that he needed a babysitter, <laughs> you know. What I did mean, you think he did need? I didn't think that he needed anything, really. I mean, he even asked me to buy him beer, and I says, no way. You say, I just love playing and blanking a man's blank. Well, those were the conversations that he was having with me also. These are your words? Oh, I'm, yeah, we had some, some of that chat, but if you go back and look at our last conversation today, or tonight, there was some conversation about beer, and I says, no, I won't do that. Here you say, I have to ask this, are you a cop? Why did you ask if he was a cop? Because of the age. I mean, I haven't done, I haven't done a thing with him. And, I mean, look at what I'm doing. I'm sitting here talking with you over it, you know? So, I mean, <laughs> that was my largest fear. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't hook up online. I meet people, but I don't hook up online. It sounds like you were trying to hook up tonight. No. Have no. you ever asked somebody to blank you off? You talk about... Oh, I won't deny that there was... You sexual... talk about penis size here. Yours and his. I don't recall him ever telling me his, but... I can read it to you. Well, I don't, you know, I mean... You chat with a lot of people in those chat rooms. You ask about his homosexuality. You say, well, you're a good-looking guy, but then you say... Please delete that picture of me. Why did you want him to delete the picture of you that you had sent him? I deleted his. I mean, I don't keep pictures on my internet. You say you better not be getting me into trouble. That's not um, good. <laughs> it's not, because... You know, I mean, look what's happened here. Even though I haven't done anything with the guy, look, I mean, look what's happened. So you have that dark hair. Do you have any body hair? Yeah. I mean, those are normal chat things on... It's normal chat things with a 14-year-old well, boy? You're underage, and then what if you got pissed at me sometime? I would go to jail. You say you're very cool and very safe. Did you bring condoms with you tonight? No. I didn't even bring my wallet. I walked out and left my wallet on the dresser. How was the ride over today? How was my ride over? Over here. Oh, well, it's fine. How far did you travel tonight? Um, I live in Kettering. Kettering. And how far is that from where we're at here? Um, I want to say 30 miles, 33 miles, something like that. I, I really don't know. I think it was, um, according, according to what, um, the directions he gave me was 45 minutes. I'm sorry, 45 miles. 45 miles. Yeah. So you drove 45 miles just to, what, chat with this kid? Absolutely. I, he, the guy, you know, he told me that his parents were in Vegas, you know, and I mean, I, I even t said in the email, hey, I'm coming to meet and to chat with you. You also say in your chat, so you have a nice blank slang word for penis. What's that now? So you have a nice cock is what you say to him. I guess I did. I think he asked about mine, too. And you go into great detail about that. Do you see why it's hard for me to believe that you were just here to chat? Based upon well, this I know 
I know myself, I'm 43 years old, and I know myself what I would have done. Period. You ask him if he's horny, and then say, I wish you were not so far away. I, I, what conclusion can I draw from that? I, I totally understand. What do you do for a living? I manage an audit department for a major oil company for 25 years. It's a big job. Absolutely. I'm fucking scared to death. How do you defend this being? Well, I should have never came here, no matter what, you know, you always hear stories online about situations like this, and no matter how you feel about it, I mean, it doesn't matter what they're saying to you, you know, you just have to say that, the hell with it. Do you have a, uh, an addiction to the internet, a, um, a compulsion? No, no, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I'm on, I, w I live on the computer at work, so, you know, but I mean, and I chat all the time with my mom. You know, she's got cancer and is in South Bend, and that's, we communicate all the time, you know, through the Internet. And, um, you know, and I, and I have friends that I talk with online, but I mean, I, this was the first time I've ever chatted with someone at this age, you know. I mean, aren't there enough 21-year-olds and over to chat with? Well, actually, I mean, most guys that talk to me are in that age, I mean, 25, 26 years old. Well, nobody cares you know? about that. Well, That's I those know. Those are adults. But, well, you're right. You're right. I mean, what people get upset about, what the law has an issue in it is 14, 13, 12-year-old kids. Well, I know, and, and that was... I mean, what goes on between adults is nobody's business but the adults. Absolutely. But when it gets down to this, can you see why somebody would have an issue? Oh, yeah. But I can tell you right now, I mean, nothing sexually would ever happen with me and this kid. That's just, I know how I am. I know, but based upon I, the chat, Karen, I know. it sounds like you were getting no. ready to have a... Big old night of sex with this kid. No. No. I don't even have sex with men my age the first time I meet them. Period. Well, if you had to sum it up, how did you end up here tonight? Because he asked me to come. I know, but because a 14-year-old asks you to do something doesn't mean you do it. Well, I, you know, and, and you're right in the sense that there's... There are... I mean, it's a dangerous thing. I mean, in his shoes. I know what I'm like, you know, and I know that, you know, I, I'm good at conversation. I'm good company. Not, I'm not talking sex or anything like that. You but know? you were talking sex in the oh, yeah, yeah, we both were, Yeah, we both were. I know, but there's a difference. You're 43 years old and he's right. You're 14. right. You're right. So, I understand. Do you know that it's illegal to solicit somebody this age over the internet for sex? Uh, I didn't think that I was. I mean, we didn't agree to sex. We did not agree, agree to sex at all. It's a sexually charged conversation, certainly. I mean, you know what you said. I read you the quotes. What do you think should happen to you? Well, right now I'm scared to death. I, I just want to go home. Well, there's a couple things that you have to know. One is that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story about adults hooking up 
with teenagers on the internet. If you have anything else you'd like to say, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to go. So this is going to be on TV? We don't know. We're working on a story. No decisions have been made as to what is or is not going to be in it. We're just in the early stages of this story. I... That's just as bad as getting arrested, you know? I mean, I'm just being straight up with you. I, 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 I don't know, and there's no way I can say at this point. Well, I want to go. You're absolutely free to go. Uh, and I've been taught a lesson big time. You know, this is not the first time we've done a story like this. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Don't forget your jacket. Remain silent. You understand that? Yes, Anything you say can't be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand that? Yes or no? Yes. You have the right to talk to the lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Do you understand that? Yes. If not afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand that? Yes. Ready? Yep. Make a seat, watch your head getting in. Get your foot in there. There you go. Slide your foot in. You good? Before you're arrested on 5K Avenue, I read your constitutional rights, your Miranda rights. Did you understand them at that time? Yes. Okay. And you will verify that I did read them to you, correct? Yes. Okay. questions I want to ask you. Uh, are you willing to talk to me? Yes. Okay. I want you to be truthful with me. Okay. About Let me push my glasses up. Sure. <laughs> okay. And I want you to be truthful with me about everything I ask you about. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Why did you come to the house out there on 5K Avenue today or tonight, this morning? <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to be like 1130. Okay. Um, well, I had been chatting with, you said he was Rocky, I think maybe a week or so. And um, so anyway, we started chatting tonight, or Friday night, and he told me that his parents had went to Vegas and that he was home alone and bored. And um, so anyway, um, I, you know, we chatted about all kinds of stuff. I mean, sex. I mean, he was in a gay chat room, you know. And um, so anyway, um, at one point we decided that we would meet up. And I even mentioned, you know, I said, that's fine. I don't mind meeting up and 
in chatting, but as his, you know, and I, and I asked him on different occasions if he was a cop or anything like that. I mean, I normally do with anybody that I'm chatting with. So, because I mean, they can tell you that they're 40 or 50, but you don't know that, you know? Okay, your screen name is what? Um, John Goldmania, 2005 zero. Probably, I'm not sure if I know that person. Who are you coming to see today or visit? What was her name? His name was Rocky. Rocky. Rocky? Rocky. Rocky. What was the screen name that he used? Oh. What do you say it means again? It's, it's Art of Living. Art of Living. Yes. Oh, God, I don't remember so now. Right You've been talking to him for a week or so and you don't remember? Well, the reason I don't is because, I mean, on AOL, you know, once once you start talking, it just comes up automatically. Um, what do you think it was? Yes, sir. Talk to so many people. You can just be dummy. Can you tell you my mom's screen name right now? Once I look at it, I'm being very honest. You can definitely talk to him. You can ask him about it. Maybe he knows me. I thought it was she. I think it started. I wanted to say you. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Okay. How'd you first meet uh, Rocky? In the um, Dayton Men for Men. What's your first name again? Dayton Men for Men? Yeah, AOL. What's your last name, Chandra? Yes, sir. And that's a chat room? Yes. When was that again? Um. It may have been it may have been last Friday, but I won't swear to that. It may have been earlier earlier that week. You bring anything with you and you know how old that Rocky was or how old Rocky uh, I told thought, he was before you come to visit him? I thought he said that he was fifteen, but the guy when he was talking to me in the basement said he was fourteen. I mean, it, was, it was a concern because, I mean, he was younger than I am, you know, considerably younger than I am. Well, okay, I got the logs from your chats, okay? And he told you he was 14 years old. Okay. Now, was he 14 or is he 15? Well, I have, to say, I have to say 14 if that's what the log says. Okay. Okay. What made you think that he was 14 years old? I'm sorry. What made you think that he was 14 years old? He told me he was. Okay, did you show, exchange any pictures or photographs with him? Oh, well, I know I sent him one. Um, did he send you one? Yeah, I think so. Because at the time we, um, when I sent him mine, I said, you know, which I do, anybody I send my picture to, I ask him to delete it, but. I mean, I have a professional job, so I just always ask them to delete it. I mean, you never know if they do or not, so. Did you have any phone conversations with uh, Rocky when you were coming to see him? Just tonight. How many? Um, one right before he called me. Um, I want to say maybe 1030. How long of calls were they? I was just that one, except for when I couldn't find the house. How long of a call? Uh, maybe five minutes. Five minutes? Maybe. I would not find any other sign of you chatting with any other girls online. What phone did you call from? What was the number that you called from? To talk he called to me. You called Kentucky up, and you let me go check your computer out? What's your cell phone number? Uh, 937 287 3846. Really? Yes, sir. That was your cell phone, correct? Correct. What did you talk about each time? Um, it's your roommate's laptop. Yes, sir. That was so short. 
Um, he wanted to know what I was doing. Wanted to know if I was going to come and see him. And I said yes. And that was really it. It was kind of a big phone call. Did you ever have any sexual conversations with him? Oh, yeah. What, well, did, they, what mean, did they entail? Um, well, he told me about an experience he had with a cousin. Um, and then he asked me, that was the first conversation, or the first time he ever really talked sexually, I guess. Wanted to know, if, and I wasn't even on, I was online, but I wasn't at the computer. And he wanted to know if that weirded him out. And by the time I got back to the computer, he was gone. And so tonight, when we started chatting, um, I told him, that, I says, you know, I says, hey, everybody has, you know, it's cool. Everybody has their own, I guess, stories, you know, um, about what went on with him and his cousin. What did the two of you talk about? What sex, sexually explicit things did you two talk about? Um, yeah, well, he's, he said something about what happened with his cousin would be cool with us. What did you talk about sexually? Sexually? Yes. Um, size. And, um, uh, that was really about it. Suck his Did you ask to suck his All right, Mama Diva. Mm, no, not that I recall. What did you come up here for tonight? Like I said, the... The end of the conversation was, or even during the conversation, was that his parents had left to go to Las Vegas. Why did you come up here tonight? I came up here just to meet and chat with the kid. To have sex with him? Nope. Never discussed having sex with him? Nope. Tonight or any other time on these chat logs? Um, I can't say that it was, that it was, a, that we definitely talked about having sex, no. I mean, we talked about sex, but to just have sex with each other, no. Jungle Mania, 5.46 p.m. I love to have a guy come in my mouth. Yeah, but that, that wasn't talking about him. I mean, This kid posed himself to you as being a 14-year-old, and that's the conversation that you're having with him? Well, yeah, but he was having the same type of conversation. And he posed to you as being 14 years old. Well, I didn't see any harm in that. It, you know, because it wasn't something we were talking about with us. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't believe you. I mean, it, it's just like the, the, the deal with him talking to me about his cousin. I didn't see Jungle Mania. And tell me what really is going on here. What's that? Oh, boy, the stuff. Oh, boy, the when it goes in your mouth. Jungle Mania. Oh, now I never waste a load. Laugh out loud, okay. Jungle Mania, would you like that? Yeah, no, that happened. Yeah, because it's right here on the chat log. But now, it, you're not being truthful with me. Oh, yes, I am. Totally truthful with me. I feel that I am because I know, I mean, you're reading parts of that. The whole conversation, I mean, it never really, I never said that that's what I wanted to do with him. You know, it was, it was the conversation that we were having. I mean, there was, a, there was a point where he was trying to get me to commit to something more than just coming and meeting and chatting with him. And I says, look, you know, I don't know. First of all, I don't know what his age was. And look what the hell happened. If he represented you as he was 14 years old, you didn't care. If he was 14 years old, you didn't care. It didn't bother you that he was 14 years well, old. Well, it depends if you're And you're carrying on these kind of conversations with what you believe is a 14-year-old kid. 
Absolutely. Then you come up here tonight just to meet him. Absolutely. And I do that with anybody going to meet online. No, sir. I mean, you can start a movie. I don't. I mean, so you do this often? No. Is this the first time you've ever done this? What? Done what? Met somebody from online? Mm -hmm. No. I it's the first time you ever met somebody online or came to meet somebody online that you knew posed as a 14 year old Absolutely. boy? Absolutely. The first time? Absolutely. What made you do it this time? Because it's true. his parents were in Las Vegas and he was bored. You're carrying on these explicit conversations with a 14 year old knowing that his parents are not home and didn't expect to have any kind of sexual contact with him. Absolutely. He even asked me to bring him beer and I said no. I came with no condoms, no no intentions of you need to believe the story. Where do you live at again in Kettering, right? Yes. We haven't been doing this for not. Where's the computer at that located that to use to communicate with with uh, Rocky? Where is it? Yeah. It's in my apartment. And you're not being straight up with us. I am. No, you're not. Do we look stupid? You know? Chad, you tell the girl you're 27. She tells you... So tell me again what you came up here to do with him tonight. I, I came here strictly to me and chat with Rocky. Did you graduate high school? Yes, sir. Okay. I even, when I couldn't find the house, I even left. And, he, and I How many times did you drive around that house tonight? Um, I think four times before I left, because I went down and, around, and come around the first time, which I didn't know where I was at at that point, and then I think I went three other times before I left. You're telling me that you came up here just to meet me. After all this conversation with him about sexually explicit things, about oral sex, coming in his mouth, coming in somebody's mouth. I I didn't talk to him about in his mouth. Some romance, if you don't mind. Why did you come to see him? Then? I came here to meet and to chat with him, and that was it. However, the situation. Why didn't you just chat with him online? I was. Why did you come up here to chat with Because he asked me to. In fact, there was even a conversation where I, he said something about coming up or something. And I says, well, I don't even remember you asking me to come, Rocky. And he says, oh, yeah, I did. And I says, well, I don't remember that. And he bring condoms. And you have talk like this in Collins. What do you think a jury's going to think? You think a jury's going to believe your story? I mean, if there was any talk about something sexual tonight between him and I, it came from him, and I says, "Hey, I'm coming to meet and chat." And I asked him several times if, if he was a cop, and he said no. Why was you worried if he was a cop? Well, because of the age. I mean, in the situation I'm in right now, I mean, I did nothing with the kid. Here's the way, here's the way it works. I, can't tell the I think he had plans on coming up here and doing something well, with the kid. Okay? I I just, well, I'm do sure you understand you why I feel that way? Oh, yeah, I'm sure okay. you do. But I'm telling you that I didn't. I don't have the intentions of doing that with anybody that I meet online. I don't care if they're 40. The hell, the only reason I came back was because he asked me to come back. After you drove around several times. He asked me to 8.51 tonight. Okay. 8.52 last night. I'm sorry. So are you horny? That's you asking this. Yep. Jungle Mania. Laugh out loud. Jungle Mania. Good man. All at the same time? No, it's two different, two different lines. 
My point is, you're talking about yeah. sex online to this person that's I'm, I'm not denying that. I know you're not. And why you're denying that you came up here and your intentions weren't to have some kind of sex with the 14-year-old, I don't believe. Well, I, I, and you have that right to do that. I mean, you don't know me any more than I know you. I just know how I am. I know how I personally am. And if I was coming up here to have sex with him, I'd have had condoms or something with me. And There's I no condoms or anything in your car? No. None in your billfold? No. None anywhere? No. And you'll give us a consent to search your vehicle? Sure. Okay. Because that's what we're going to do. No, that's okay. fine. Do you have any explicit images of any children in your car or at work or at home? On my computer, there's probably a few pictures of the people that sent me, but I mean, I don't know. I can't tell you that they're, what the ages are. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can you have to judge that. Do you care what the ages are? Well, of course I care. I mean, we've never, we have never exchanged explicit pictures. Lots of laughs, is that what means? I mean, that's Rocky and I never ever I exchange guess. any type of nude pictures right, or I'm nothing. I'll we'll read you some more chat. You guess. Okay. I don't know, that's why I asked. Oh boy. So what you doing, Jungle Mania? Just cleaning the living room and what are you doing? Oh boy. Nothing at all really. Jungle Mania, cool. Oh boy. Yeah, about as cool as cleaning. Jungle Mania. So do you have a nice yeah, but what were we talking about prior to that? Cleaning? No, I mean... It doesn't matter what you're talking about prior to it. You're asking him something sexually explicit. Can I yeah. tell you Correct? Right. Okay. But the, he, he was in that chat. Does that make it okay if you know it's a 14-year-old kid and you're asking him how big his is or how nice his is? I, I did not realize that it was... Uh, I, Let me, do I need to go back to this first page on this chat when you ask how old he is? No, I. He's in the chat room, you know, and so that makes it okay. Talk is talk. I mean, hell, they do it in high school, you know. I does I'm that not, make it okay? No, it's you're not. how old, Ken? You're, you're right. It's not okay. It's not. And when I was his age, I wouldn't even be talking about it. Exactly. Do you have any children? No. How, if you did have a child, how would you feel if they got online and was talking to somebody like this as a parent? Well, as a parent, my kids right. wouldn't be online. Really? And I mean, I've got nieces and nephews that are, you know, teenagers. And, you know, I'm constantly telling their moms. Hey. Why do you tell them that? Well, because I'm in the chat rooms. I know what goes on in those chat rooms. But it doesn't matter that you're chatting with somebody that's 14 years old. Well, I think the intentions were different. I mean, I know what my intentions are. So do I. Well. Okay. It's pretty obvious, Ken. No, it's not. Yes, not it to is. Me, not be, I know what I am. And what is that? I'm a man with a good heart. The kid was lonely, bored, and that's all it was. So that's why you asked him how big his penis was. That has not, that had nothing to do with... That's what, all part of this chat. Well, we had been chatting for how long? It doesn't matter. Okay. Most of this chat is from tonight. Well, there, was ch there was chat earlier, I mean... I, a week ago, the middle of last week, because we've chatted like two or three different times. And each time you talk about sexually explicit things. Not the whole time, but yeah. I didn't say the whole time, I said yeah. each time. Okay. 
And, you know, it's a, is a it right? I guess the way that he carried himself, you would assume that on my end that... Bearing in mind he's 14 years old. Right, old. but I'm saying the way that he come, came in and, and was chatting, whether it's right or wrong, I mean, you know... Bearing in mind that he's 14 years old, it made it all right for you to ask him those questions. No, but some of them I was answering these questions. I guess I could have been rude and just say it's none of your business. But when you ask him his penis size, Oh, that's right. You're just coming up here just to chat, right? To meet him and chat, yes. I'm going to be honest with you, and again, I don't believe your story. Okay. You're not being truthful with me. Your body language tells me that. I'm, I'm an investigator. i have been 100% truthful with you on my, what, what my intentions were for tonight. That's just the way it is. And, and I'm sorry that you don't believe that, but I'm not like some of the other people that you may pick up on there. That's just not me. Well, let me tell you how similar in conversation your conversation is with other people on the Internet chatting with kids that are this age. It's very similar. Well, I'm, okay? okay? It's very similar. You're the ninth person tonight that we've arrested for this. I know that when I meet people my age, they think, now, I'm just giving you an example. This is not someone your age. I know, but when I do meet people my age, they think that I'm going to do anything with them, and that's just not me. So you ask somebody repeatedly? Are you horny? And then you just show up at their house and just say, I, I just want to talk? That was just, a, that was just in conversation. That was, that was not even when we had decided. If I ask to you if you're horny, what does that mean to you? He's in, he's in a If session. I ask you if you're horny, what does that mean to you? To me? Mm -hmm. It's an everyday thing for me. You ask him in here if he was horny, and you say, I wish you lived closer. Correct. Why? Only because he looked, he was an hour away. You, tell me what this, uh, phone on there? you know, you during the whole conversation, I mean, you're, you're looking at, you're looking at those two lines. No, I'm looking at more than two lines. Well, I'm just saying though. All we're doing is picking out certain excerpts from this right. and try about to, your conversation that shows that you had ex sexually explicit conversation with him. I did, and I won't deny that. But that doesn't mean that I came here to have sex with him. That, that's my point, is that it doesn't mean... If the opportunity would arose, you wouldn't have taken it. Absolutely not. Nope. Not in a heartbeat. I just don't do it. Not too many people drive an hour at midnight just to talk, do they? What time was you originally supposed to have been up here tonight to meet him? Um, I think it was 11.30. Because it wasn't until, I wanted to say 10 o'clock, that I even agreed to do it. I think, I think he actually called me. Well, my phone's in my car, but I think that he, he actually called me around 10 o'clock. Have you ever done anything like this before? No. What's the name? Why did you choose to come to Dark County? Yes, sir. That's where he was at. Did you tell anybody you were coming here other than who you came to visit? No. You work for a major yes. oil company, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what you tell everybody in your chats? That's, that's what I am. Are you, are you supposed to where do marry you work at? Company? Speedway. No. Okay. I'm, uh, I manage the audit department. How well do you know him? Okay. How well do you know him?
I'm just going to read you a couple more lines of this because I want you to get to drift where I'm coming from, okay? Jungle Mania. So do you a lot? Oh boy, yes, yeah, sometimes like a river. Oh boy, do you? Jungle Mania, cool. Jungle Mania, oh yes. Oh boy, cool. Hey, would it be okay if I called you quick while I can? That was that was Jungle Mania on the phone. Oh boy. Yeah, if that's okay with you. Oh boy, it's not if that's not okay. Oh boy, I was just wondering. Jungle Mania. Well better wait on that, Rocky. Oh boy, okay, okay. Jungle Mania, sorry. Oh boy, that's cool. I was just wondering since I do not since they're asleep. Oh boy, no, it's okay. Jungle Mania, laugh out loud. Oh boy, you're still cool. Jungle Mania, they may hear you, man. Oh boy, no, they're clear at the other side of the house. Oh boy, it's a big house, laugh out loud. Jungle Mania, okay. Oh boy, plus I use a calling card to call you, so if, and I mean if, they do come, which they won't, I'll hang up and they can go no way to know it was you. Oh boy, I can hear him coming down the stairs, so I'd hang up anyway. Oh boy, but it's up to you. Jungle Mania, sneak out for a That That was a conversation, not tonight. It doesn't matter. What are you asking him to sneak out to do? Oh, I, I know. I understand. What? A okay. I understand where you're coming from, but, you know, there's... That was like the first chat we ever had. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay? Come on, Ken. Honestly. You're asking me why I'm here tonight. Why I came up here tonight. Why are you chatting with him? Well, why are you okay. talking about sexually explicit things? Why are you talking about with him? Because that's where the conversation went. Which but you knew he was 14 years old. Right. Ball team. Who's your favorite player? I agree. What... Them tell me why that the conversation had to be the sexually explicit conversation that you had with them, rather than that about what's your favorite sport? Who's your favorite actor? How's your I, grades in school? I was just following his conversation. But you're the adult. I, I agree with that. Why didn't you stop it? Well, when it got to that point, why didn't you stop it? I should have. We'll take one more here, okay? Okay, so you know it was wrong. Yeah. And you did it anyway. I guess at the time I didn't think any, I did not see it as being wrong because he was in the chat room and it, and it was just talk. I'd like to tell the prosecutor that he's cooperating. What did that lead to? I can't do that. That chat no. and that talk, what did that ultimately lead to? It definitely yeah. led to more than what I ever anticipated. I what did it lead expected. to tonight? Where are you at? I'm right here in trouble. If you would have kept the conversation to something such as sports or whatever, school, do you think that you'd be here tonight? No nudity, no child porn? I think, uh, would I have met him? I think so. If the conversation would have stayed sports and not sex. Yeah, I mean, it, because I was dwelling more on the fact that he was bored. He said his, his parents were gone for four days. Did you think that was rather strange for a 14-year-old to be gone, or for his parents to be gone for four days and leave him at the house by himself? Mm, I didn't really find it to be strange just simply because early on, like a week ago when we were chatting, the fact that, you know, he led me to believe that his parents kind of let him do what he wanted to do, you know, as far as, I mean, how he was online at midnight, you know, and I was like, don't you have school? Well, yeah. And then he said something one time, he said something about his mom coming in and telling him to go to bed. It's like, well, you probably ought to, you know, it's... At school Do you think his mom would have known about the sexually explicit conversations and would have weird? Oh, yeah, we talked about that. He said that his parents were computer stupid. Did that stop you from talking about that thing, no. those things with her? No, I answered his questions.
wherever he let it, I went, you know, I mean. And all, you didn't lead any of it? Um, as far as, what do you mean by lead it? The conversations about sex. You never brought up anything about sex. You only answered what he asked you about sex. Well, I think, I mean, one thing may lead to it, would have let, you know. Ken, it's okay, a simple fine. answer. All right, fine. Yeah, I'm sure that there, at some point I, I brought up something that he didn't. So what, by what you're saying, if, if, if his parents were home, you'd have come up here anyways, right? Because you were just going to talk to him, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, so, you mean if his parents were home? Yeah, you'd have just come up anyways because you were just going to talk, right? You weren't doing hey, anything wrong. I'm Rocky's friend, Ken. I've been chatting with him online. I just wanted to meet him tonight. Yeah. I mean, if you're I just going to meet him tonight, what point, how many times did you have to meet him before you had sex with him? I guess, yeah. I would have never had sex with him. Never. You talk about sneaking out for a <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> all this conversation all online, but, you know, it's one thing when you're face to face. And the other thing is, is I probably would have never came and met him if his parents were here just in protection of him, you know, because he kept telling me that if his dad ever found out, his dad would throw him out, that his dad was totally down on gay people. I mean, that's in the, on gay people. That's on, that's what's in the law. That didn't stop you from coming up to scene tonight, right? After all the sex conversation. Well, he said that his parents were gone, you know, and he, he's telling me what he wants. You know, that, that he had had this cousin relationship. You know, I've been there. So that excited you? No, I wasn't excited at all. You wasn't? Not, not in the way that you think I was. How was you excited then? I was just being friendly. I wasn't, be, I mean, I was not sexually excited about a 14 year old. How in the hell can I be sexually excited personally about a 14-year-old? I don't know. You tell me. I can't be. That's why you carry on these conversations with us. Well, it was an online conversation, and I just see it as a different... I see that differently. You didn't see no harm in it? Not at the time, no. You didn't see no psychological harm in talking to somebody posed as a 14-year-old and talking this way to them? No. I mean, you see them in there all the time. That makes it okay. Why do you talk about it in your chat log? You talk about it. You talk about doing it. Why do you do that if you've never had sex with her? If you've never had sex and didn't have sex with her, why would you discuss it in your chat log? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe because you had intentions of doing it? Oh, Are you willing to sign a consent to search your, your vehicle? Oh, yeah. Any property that's in the vehicle? Yeah. Okay. You want to, you want to yeah. He's going to take the cuffs off of you long enough to find that. Okay, time's approximately 1.47 a.m. He's going to conclude the interview. Left hand and right hand. Right hand. <clears throat> Right, yeah. Yep. Sorry, right there. Well, I used your man's pep trying to convince the jury that she didn't come up with intent to have sex with the school. 